So the camera and three, two, one, four years. How do you think tonight's info went? Look, I think it was a great event. I, I think people left wanting more. We didn't have enough time. So we need to think about that in future. But it's always good to leave people wanting more because these are important issues. I think despite what people say, criticising the media, professional journalists care about these issues and they want to know how to do it better. So how do you think that programs like this benefit society? Look, this thing that's now become normal in Australia and certainly in Melbourne, it, you know, it began 17 years ago that you would have the Muslim community have a fast-breaking meal during Ramadan, Iftar, uh, and invite people from all different other communities. That's become sort of the new normal. We just accept it as something that we think it's been here forever, but it's, it's quite recent. Uh, and it's been, very, uh, it's been a very practical initiative. It goes hand in hand with home Iftars. And it's the usual thing. If you break bread with somebody, you see them as a human being, you hear their stories, you meet their family, you say, look, they, these guys are just like us. You know, their daughter is studying HSC or VC and, and, and talking about going into you know, medical school or whatever it might be. And you think, I can relate to that person. I mean, I, I didn't recognize them because of the way they dressed, but now I talk to them. I look beyond the dress and realize they're a human being uh, with the same dreams and aspirations as I have. So I'm not so, I'm not so anxious about somebody who's looking different because now I see them as a human being. That's what, that's what the sort of uh, constructing a, a reason for people to come together and eat together and talk together, uh, that's what it can do. And, and this is only one small thing, but it's an important small thing to be doing. How do you, what kind of actions do you think that members of the media can take to promote this kind of cultural understanding that we've been talking about? There's a lot of things that we need to do, and, and it's, it's you know, work in progress. It, it's only in recent years, probably the last decade, even, even less, that we're seeing non-Anglo faces on our TV screens um, and, and playing a role in media. That's still a work that's not yet finished, but, but it's now the case that in commercial television you have people from diverse backgrounds are going on to journalism careers, and that's really important because if you look around uh, the faces you see in the streets of Melbourne or Sydney, it's a, it's the most, these are the most diverse cities on the planet and you, you turn on the television when you get home and you don't see that diversity, whether it's uh, current affairs or whether it's, um, you, know, it's um, you know, sitcoms or, or um, uh, soapies. Uh, we, we, Australia hasn't yet fully embraced its diversity the way it portrays itself, so that's one thing that media needs to do. I think in reporting on issues to do with religious differences and, and issues sometimes uh, unfortunately associated with religion, you know, groups that claim to be acting in the name of religion but are just terrorist groups. Uh, journalists are increasingly doing a, a better job at breaking down the issues and understanding what the reasons are, what's going on. Uh, the problem we have in the media space is not, in my view, professional journalists by and large. It, it's, it's people commentating through regular columns or the occasional column or TV programs that they sort of star in. Uh, in other words, it's not straightforward journalism. It, 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 it's sort of uh, opinion, uh, personality-led stuff. That and some heavy-handed editing, uh, sometimes the, the, the headline that a sub-editor will put you know, is at, at odds with the careful story that the journalist has written. That's, that's a pity. And uh, we have seen, unfortunately, uh, a lot of partisanship just going out of the federal election this, this, uh, this year in, in, uh, in May uh, 2019 that has undermined the work of good, hard-working professional journalists because they're, they're sort of made to look like you know, they're part of a partisan venture when it's, you know, it's not what they're doing. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, I, I think we now need to pay attention to the social media space as well because uh, the, the reality is ordinary individuals can, can upload a video or uh, an image and, and it goes into the media cycle and they're not professional journalists and then people respond to that and that, you know, many people are more directed by what comes through their Facebook feed than what comes uh, on the front punch page of the paper or on the, on the evening news. So it's, it's a um, ever evolving field. Uh, there's a lot of good work that's been done, a lot of improvement, but you know, now we're going to have to work even harder. Awesome. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. Thank you.